2017 season starts chasing mule deer on public land in eastern Washington. This hunt was off to a great start as Kenny spotted three mature bucks feeding on a hillside about a thousand yards away. The stock was on. What's going on there, Kenny? What just happened? Well, you shot a buck. <laughs> Some very irresponsible hunting <laughs> just happened. I'm gonna need more bullets. I know, I heard. Oh man. Long story short, we spotted a couple bucks. Kenny did. Great job. Spotted from about a half mile out in this canyon. Oh man, got a couple, four shots off at least. And uh, misread the wind. I think I misread the distance by about 20 yards after rearranging it. And long story short, Kenny, we have a deer with a bullet in his butt. We're gonna do the responsible thing. We came ready to stay back here for three plus days. So we're gonna camp on that ridge and get on his blood and see if we can't make a recovery. It's a big canyon, huh? How do you suppose we're gonna get over there? No idea. It's not much, Kenny. It's not much, but there's hope. There's blood. We got a blood trail. There's blood on the ground. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be a long afternoon. We just crossed this valley. You'll be able to see way up there. That's where we had shot from. We pitched camp above where we last saw the deer. We searched all afternoon and continued the search the next morning and were unable to find any further sign from the deer. From over a mile, the other members of our group saw a deer worth putting a stock on. No, I think you hit him. He's to the right. He's hurting. He's hurting. Here he is. Do you see him? Yeah. There he is. He, he's going down. Yep. Oh, there he is. Yep, Just went down. Oh, fuck. I got it on video. Oh, fucking <laughs> awesome. That's a fucking problem. Fucking That's a nice, nice buck. Nice wait for a buck like that, dude. <laughs>
It is. Kenny, what just happened? We just shot a big monster. <laughs> monster. We're, uh, we've been on his blood for, did you say, about 100 yards now? Yeah, 100 yards. I haven't got to see him yet. Yeah, but he's going to be down here somewhere. Second day of mule deer season. Back here where uh, Jimmy and Drew saw the monster bug a couple years back. And uh, Kenny and I spent the night out last night. Been slowly working these ridges. We got a really nice shot off on a big buck. Unfortunately, he was running. I've tracked him for about 200 yards now. We're starting to see real good blood. We're staying out here again tonight. We'll be out here till we find him. So if he's hit good. We know he's he's gonna go down eventually. So It'll be a long night, Kenny. Yes, I will. See you, little blood. That's 200 yards from the shot. That's a lot of blood. We quickly ran out of light, and for fear of bumping the deer, we decided to head back to camp continue the search in the morning. At this point we were completely out of water. The next morning Kenny had to hike to get water while I returned to the blood trail to track down the deer. Any final thoughts for the day? I am. Want to get something to eat? Change my clothes. What's for dinner? Deer. Deer's for dinner. <laughs> oh man, that was a long day, huh? There's rough. Oh, no more uphill. That's no it. No more uphill. All downhill from here. Yeah. Four. We're on our way out. Uh, it's been a long four days, Kenny. Yes. Thanks for help, man. Long story short, two days ago we shot this nice buck. Uh, we had to go back in yesterday, finish tracking. Uh, after following him literally more than a thousand feet down in this canyon, uh, I found him being, uh, being murdered by some wolves. So. It's unfortunate he was still alive. He was pestered by wolves throughout the night. He got bumped out of his beds a few times. But one good thing about the wolves is it actually led me to him. I had lost blood and found him and the wolves about 400 yards from the last place. So it's actually a blessing in disguise. He's able to scoop the wolves out of there, move in, and put the finishing shot on him. Again, unfortunately, we, uh, we got him. We got him. So, Kenny spent yesterday uh, packing back to about three miles round trip to get more water. He's completely out of water, so again, I couldn't have done one without the other. Thanks, Kenny. No problem. Uh, day four, back to camp. We got a big storm going in. Uh, hopefully, we'll be uh, sitting around a fire tonight eating cheeseburgers. So.
crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's gonna love the camera on him. Hey Kenny, how's it going, buddy? There is a giant buck over there. Is it really? Yes. We've seen like a hundred deer just coming up at you. Kenny. Right there. 18 inches. Where's the bucket? Yeah. 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 This is breakfast. You guys didn't go breakfast? Yeah, we did. Kenny, are you ready now? No. Put your snacks down. You don't get over here. Telling Kenny to put his snacks down is like. I'm not going to say on film what we did last time. But I'm not ready. <laughs> what do you think, Drew? It's cold. So cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Friday, day six of the season. Got two tags left. Two tags already filled. Spend the rest of the day slowly dip down to this ridge. Things are looking up. It's been pretty rainy. Last few days, finally got some clear skies. Great classic. Kenny, buddy. Hey, look back at me real quick. What just happened, buddy? Hopefully, I just hit a deer. <laughs> Hopefully. I think I hit a buck. We we're gonna check it out. And watch him for how long, man? That was probably 20 minutes. We stood at least. Forever. Couldn't see his back little tiny split. But finally saw his split, so it was three point on one side, two point on another, and found out. About a 400 yard shot. Hopefully we hit it. Dead buck, dead buck, we know it is. Yeah. We got blood. <laughs> oh yeah, good blood. Yes. Let's go find a deer. Let's go find a deer. It's deep, steep country. That looks like long blood. Look down. <laughs> Kenny, dude. Go get him, man. Fork? Yeah, dude, that's a good one. Oh my god, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, dude, he's a toad, man. Oh, big mountain buck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, but Oh, Ben. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. We have worked so hard for this buck, buddy. Hey. That is a big mountain buck, man. It's a, it's hey, bad. we know this country so well. We're gonna be. Look it'll be that. midnight by the time we get Told out. But a fork. that's a good fork, that's man. It's barely a fork. Show us the mass on that thing. Oh man, that is a toad. Oh, yes. I told you I heard him crash. Yeah, you did. Right into that tree. I knew. Hey, that was a perfect shot. That's the entrance room we're looking at. Kenny, man. 
That is a nice buck. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Hey, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Second to last day to hunt. Actually, tomorrow we're going to be heading out, so we got a late night ahead of us. Um, kind of came down to the wire. We harvested a buck in here Monday, Sunday. So, about five days ago. Kind of regrouped. Monday. Yeah, Monday? Monday. Yeah. Monday. Now we're on Friday. On Friday. That's right. We got to head back tomorrow. Came out, located this guy, watched him for about 20 minutes. We had a, a good idea that he had that third. <laughs> Couldn't see it. Um, so we hung out, watched him. He had two does with him, actually, which is pretty impressive for a younger buck like this. But good frame, big body. He's going to eat well. He's going to eat very well. As the crow flies, probably four miles from the truck. And uh, the sun has set. Yep. Really late night. In the, in the canyon, we had the wolf encounter. <laughs> so this will be fun. We're ready that we know the country. Well worth it for the good meat. <laughs> oh man. You got deep forks, man. It's a, it's pretty impressive for what it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Very nice, man. Twenty minutes to find that. In the crosshairs for twenty fucking minutes. I'm just holding it. Holding it, like I, my eyes getting tired. I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, really? And, and then, then he's yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and he's like, he's like, I think there's a that the, his rear left one forks, and I'm like, and then I briefly saw it. Like I think you're right, but I'm like, I wanted to be sure, 100. percent Finally, I'm like, it's the forks. It's legal. <laughs> Click, boom. Our next hunt takes us to Eastern Oregon where we pursue elk in cold late season conditions. What do you got going Jimmy? Well we just uh, spotted our first buck of the trip and uh We've been up here about 30, 40 minutes now. We're finally starting to see some critters. This is an absolute gorgeous bowl that uh, we're in right now. Face this way, so we just shot them down. Cardio, <laughs> cardiovascular activity for the, for the year. By shot up, he means two hours of crawling on our hands and knees. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Where's the elk? <laughs> 
We have no idea. <laughs> there is somewhere, somewhere around here. <laughs> Jimmy and I attempted to relocate the herd. The other members from our group were making a stock of their own. See some elk, um, some national forest land. It's right on the edge. We, we saw that big mountain for us a lot. Andrew just peeked over the edge right here. There's a herd of 30 right here. There's a spike in it. We're just gonna we're gonna take a, a poke at the spike right now because uh, it's about five days in the season. We're, we're gonna try to get some action on film. So yeah. here we are. Here we go. You looking to the right? They're down, they're down, they're down. Bull down. You get the fucking meat, dude. All right, I see yours. Where's? Okay, I see yours too. I got him on film right now. He's laying like underneath some thick a thicket. He's in the open. You're panicking. <laughs> hey, buddy. Man, that's a nice bull you got, dude. You, no, <laughs> they're both decent, dude. Let's get down there to him. I feel bad. We, we got this herd up here. We've been uh. <laughs> oh my we've been killing ourselves. We've been killing ourselves. How many what day is this Jimmy? Five? Is that right? Yeah, today's day five. A lot of work went into this. <laughs> Hardest hunt you've ever participated in? <coughs> uh, most miserable. We've done a lot of coastal hunts together where we've we've been in the grind, but this has been a very cold, cold hunt. We woke up the other morning, it was seven degrees. Just seven. Nothing in front of that. Probably the coldest conditions I've ever been in. Yeah, yeah. It's been a. I'm still trying to figure out. This just all just happened. We watched these from um, way, way, way up the hill this morning, and it's now. What time is it? Eight o'clock. So, for roughly two hours, we've been crawling up this hill trying to get to these elk. 
and we saw a bunch way down here. We got to the top and Andrew saw immediately 30 more right here. We were able to pick out a spike and a branch bowl. I got set up in the branch bowl and Andrew spotted a, uh, we shot mine and then they all took off running and then there's a bunch more branch bowls and Andrew ended up dumping another one. So we did a little tagged out, we're done. So we're ready to go home. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> we got two days of packing. And that's the greatest we thing are. about this is we have time and we have temperature so we can uh, three and a half miles from camp from where we're sitting right now all up almost all uphill gradual uphill once we get up to the ridge behind us getting out of this canyon is going to be tough but yeah we'll be working on adrenaline One bull, two bulls. One bull, two bull. And somehow we gotta find our way up and out of this. That is not gonna be easy. Shot from up there. From the rocky bluffs there. And the whole entire hillside is just littered with it. And it's my birthday. That, he forgot it was his birthday until after he shot. <laughs> his wife texted him happy birthday and he realized it was his birthday. <laughs> nice five point, brother. <laughs> That's bigger than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> nice ball. Oh man. Whoa. Holy cow. That is pretty cool. <laughs> toad. Absolute toad. Oh man. Dumped him. The beast is down. Nice five point. <laughs> we got some we got some work and just up this next one, there's another one. It's a little spindly one that I shot. We're gonna have a long couple days, but we got time off and the temperatures are very cold, so we're in good shape. So Andrew, happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. <laughs> Dude, he's got some extra junk, man. <laughs> He's a lot better than I thought. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, he slid and rolled. That looks like that's been broke off for a while. But he's a f He's a 5 on that one side. Yeah. <laughs> that's been broke off from battling. That doesn't look fresh, does it? I swear I saw both antlers when I shot them. We'll go, we'll go backtrack. Oh, he's better than I thought. Oh man. Five by blown out. <laughs> it's cool though. We've had a, oh man, what an epic morning. Well, the beast is down. And we have a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> After two days of packing on our last load out, wouldn't you know it, we hear a gunshot farther down the canyon. Last bowl down. <laughs> 